Let's begin. Hello, hello, people. Welcome, welcome. It's nice to have you. One more time. Hello, 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 hello. We will continue working with section five. That is hello, point. good evening. Teacher. Nice to have you, Gabriela. Welcome. Hello, people. This is English here on Zoom. As you may know, we have class number 14. This is section number, section number five. Tell me about your family. Uh, work a little bit present continuous tense. That is the one we're going to work today. This is pre intermediate one, and this is class number 14. And Mr. Palomo, and I'm going to be helping you out here a little bit of this thing that is called. Um, learning it. So welcome everybody. I hope everything is going well at home. Everybody happy, right? And ready to practice uh, this language. Okay, so welcome everybody. Nice to have you one more time. Welcome, welcome, welcome. If you have a question, let me know anytime. Okay, check. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, what about this one? What about this one? No, I don't know. Okay, so welcome. It's nice to have you, all of you. Just give me a minute. I will take the attendance right now. So uh, when you hear your name, say, please. But I'm here. Okay. Just give me a minute because I need to get it. And then we will start reviewing what we have for today. Okay. Okay. Yes, 11, right? Thank you so much. Alba, Luz. Alba. Good evening, present chair. Thank you, Alba, welcome. Nice to have you again. Um, Alejandra Maria Mejia. Present teacher. Thank you, Alejandra, good evening, welcome. Ángel Cibrián. Ángel Cibrián, no. Okie dokie, let's carry on with Carlos Lopez. Carlos Lopez. Present teacher. Thank you, Carlos. Good evening, welcome. Eh, Concepción de Lourdes. Oh no, it's Claudia. I'm sorry, Claudia Margarita Constante. Present teacher. Thank you, Claudia. Good evening. Concepción de Lourdes. Concepción de Lourdes. So she is in here. Uh, Christian. Hello, Christian. Good evening. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Um, thank you. Dalila. Dalila Cristina Gomez. Present teacher. Thank you, Dalila. Good evening. Um, Elena Peralta. Hello, Elena Peralta. Welcome, 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 Elena. No, okay. Uh, Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela Ramirez. Present. Thank you so much, Gabriela. Gabriela Orellana. Gabriela Orellana. Present, Mr. Palomo. Thank you so much. Gabriela Lizette Lopez. Present, teacher. Thank you so much. So, very good. Iliana Hernandez. Hello, Iliana. No? Okay. What about Ingrid Ventura? Present teacher. Thank you, Ingrid. Welcome. Nice to have you. Irma Galdames. I am here. Perfect. Nice to have you. Can you, you. hear me? <laughs> nice, nice and clear. Nice. Hey. And clear. Yeah, that's wonderful. Okay. Yesterday I was very sad because I couldn't, I couldn't participate. Yes, I wasn't able to hear your voice yesterday. I don't know if that was my computer. I don't know what happened, but uh, I don't know. <laughs> I'm glad to hear your voice again. Welcome. Thank you. <laughs> uh, Jefferson, Jefferson Perez. Present teacher. Thank you, Jefferson. Good evening. Kenny Molina. Present teacher, good evening. Welcome, nice to have you. Um, 
José Montes. Hello, hello, José Montes. No, okay. Juan Carlos López. Juan Carlos López. No, he is in Catherine Calzadilla. Hi, good evening, teacher. Present. Well, perfect. Good evening. Nice to have you one more time. Leticia. Okay. Leticia Cruz. No, okay. Um, Luis Mendoza. Luis Mendoza. No, what about Mariela? Presente, teacher. Presente. Oh, Luis, Luis. Voy manejando por eso. Oh, I'm sorry, Luis. I'm sorry, okay? Keep, keep driving. Okay, keep okay, driving, sorry. okay? Be careful, be careful. Mariela Martinez? No, she isn't. Uh, Miguel Melendez? Um, Olga Valdez? Present teacher. Thank you, Olga. Good evening. Telma Hernandez? Present teacher. Thank you, Telma. Welcome. Uh, Veronica Alas? Verónica Alas, no, she is in Vilma Cortez. Present teacher. Thank you so much, Vilma. Okay, very good. Welcome, everybody, again. Nice to have you one more time. Today we're going to have Monday, as you may see. Voy a revisar el chat aquí on Zoom. Christian, okay, Christian, ahorita. Christian is here. Okay, so welcome, Christian. Thank you so much. Present teacher. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. Um, Jose Antonio. Okay, okay, Jose Antonio. Ahorita le tomo la clase. Okay. No problem. Jose Antonio Montes. Okay, very good. Okay, 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 Jose Antonio Montes. Okay, very I don't find. Yes. Oh my gosh. I don't find your last name. Oh, it's Barrera, right? That's your last name. But your first name is Lourdes. Yes, Barrera. Concepcion de Lourdes, Nuña Barrera. Oh, Concepcion. Okay. Thank you so much. Just give me a minute. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Concepcion de Lourdes. Oh, okay. Yes, thank you so much. Okay. Um, um, oh, Olga Jose Antonio, very good. Jose, I'm sorry. I could it. Oh, very good. Um, okay. Again, thank you so much for being here. It's nice to have you again. We will continue. Um, let's say, like, reviewing the content that you have on the platform or giving, like, extra, like, and information about the topic that you have in the on the platform. As you may know, we have section number five for this week, which is about family, right? Here we're gonna work today with present continuous. Creo que lo vimos in basic, right? In basic, lo vieron un poquito, and today we're gonna have a little bit of, of that review on this topic, which is somehow we use a lot, right? Uh, when it comes to communicate things about things that we do every day or things that we plan to do, like future events. Okay, let's take a look at this video that is available on the platform. I will play this one and then we can check uh, the grammar part. Somebody is here. Oh, Veronica Ali said, thank you so much. Thank you so much. Welcome. Nice to have you. Ya le tome la asistencia. Okay, perfect. Are you ready to study present continuous? I want you to play the audio program and follow us on the explanation. Before we begin, I want to remind you, present continuous is used for actions that are happening right now. With this in mind, let's listen. Present continuous. Are you living at home now? Yes, I am. No, I'm not. Is your sister working for the government? Yes, she is. No, she's not. No, she isn't. Are Ed and Jill going to college this year? 
Yes, they are. No, they're not. No, they aren't. Where are you working now? I'm not working. I need a job. What is your brother doing these days? He's traveling in the Amazon. Who are your parents visiting this week? They're visiting my grandmother. Again, it is important for you to recall the difference between these two tenses. Remember the simple present is used for habitual actions and present continuous is for actions that are happening right now. This is how we ask yes no questions in present continuous. Be plus subject plus verb, ing plus complement plus question mark. Read the example with me. Is she eating? Yes, she is. No, she's not. And to ask WH questions, we add the question word needed at the very beginning of it. Let's work it out. What is she eating? She's eating pizza. Note and never forget that we need the verb be plus ing for affirmative, negative, or questions when using the present continuous. So what are you doing right now? Type your answers in a discussion box. Sounds, sounds very amazing. Like, what are you doing right now? Mm -hmm. Yes. Tell me, what are you doing right now, Dalila? Dalila, what are you doing right now? Uh, I am um, uh, in classes. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Teacher, disculpe que le interrumpa. Eh, hay una compañera que dice que le ha fallado el micrófono. Creo que Sol Peralta, creo que aparece en el WhatsApp. No va a poder comunicarse, dice. Le falla oh. el micrófono. Okay. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, I really appreciate that. Thank you. That was very nice, Carlos. Thank you. Okay, let me see. Uh, yes, I'll put out that. Yes, very good. Okay, thank you so much for letting me know. Okay. Okay, so the question over this is, what are you doing? What are you doing right now? Right now, I am in, cla in my class of English. Okay, thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, very good. Thank you, Gabriela Noemi. Question for you. What are you doing right now? Mm -hmm. um, Gabriela Noemi, what are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Gabriela? I... <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> no, that's okay. Yeah. No no, I want to do. Okay, no problem, no problem, Gabriela. Yes, ahorita le ayudamos. Okay. So the question that I'm I'm doing is like, what? I'm sorry. What are you doing? Okay. Yes. So that is the question. Escuché dos respuestas y las dos fueron I am in class. Yes. Right, so two answers were in class. Uh, les voy a explicar así rapidito porque están incorrectas esas cosas. Um, okay. Yes. Okay. Porque ustedes me están, pues, yo entiendo muy bien que me están contestando, pues, que están haciendo, right? I, I, I am in class. Pero el verbo es doing. Okay. Yes. Como el verbo es doing, ustedes tienen que darme una acción. Yes. Okay. Yo sé que estar en clase puede decir, no, eso es una acción. Pero, pero, uh, ok. Eh, no me da la respuesta a la pregunta, what are you doing? Ok. Uh, yes. Acuérdense que el verb to be, así como lo contestaron, I am in class, espero estar. Right. right. Ahora, si yo le pregunto, es, I don't know, are you in class? Ahí sí, right. Then we're going to start well. I am in class. I I see. Tiene un poquito más de sentido la, la respuesta. Yo sé que literal, si la traducimos literal, yes, puede decir usted. Ah, 
pues, pues le daba, ¿eh? Because it's Spanish. Pero en inglés, pues no decimos eso. ¿No para mí? Alba, thank you. Entonces la respuesta tendría que ser I am a study in the class. Beautiful, that is correct. Porque tiene que ir con un verbo. Yes, tiene que ir con una acción. Uh, ¿Cómo estoy estudiando? Exactly, right? Usted puede estar haciendo ahorita miles de cosas. Bueno, no miles, right? I'm the right? listen. Pero la principal es studying. I am studying. Yes, right? Sí, entonces. I am listening. I am listening. Very good. Okay, listening. ¿qué más está haciendo? Listening. En... Irma, thank you. Yeah. I, am, I am receiving your class. Oh, taking, taking. Taking, okay. Exactly. I am taking. I am taking your class. Very good, right? Also, mire, ¿qué está haciendo Irma? Yes. Yes. Speaking. I am talking. Speaking. Okay. Speaking. Speaking. Oh, very Speaking. good. Talking. Okay. Very good. Uh, also, you are uh, watching. Yes. You are watching. sitting. You are writing. You are, I don't know, drinking water, let's say. You are breathing. Okay. Yes. Oh, yes. You have water, right? Yeah, man. That's very good. Okay. So, so it's, it's like, All the things you are doing right now at the moment. Okay. Eso es, eso es la forma más basic de aprender el present continuous, right? Todo lo que yo hago. So that is one thing that helps us a lot. Catherine? Ah, thank you. For, for example, we, we say I am learning English right now. Absolutely. That is wonderful. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Yes. Entonces, Only on on the verbs we we are um, tenemos que agregar el ing, verdad? That is correct, Catherine. That oh. is correct. That is correct. Okay. okay. Thank you. Perfect. Perfect. Yes. Esto es uno de los de los más fáciles y de los más difíciles a veces. Okay. Because because Okay, se nos olvida esta cosa que está aquí. Esta little thing, the first two things. Yes? Okay. No se nos olvida. Yes? Y si se nos olvida, it's wrong. Okay? I, I'm sorry for that, but, but if you forget the verb to be with present continuous, it's wrong. Okay? Aquí tenemos also double edged words, right? Watch and where. Y también siempre mira va el verb to be. Like, don't forget that. Don't forget that, right? So are you living? At home now. So, aquí con estas tenemos, podemos contestar con una short answer. Yes, no answer. ¿Ok? Pero con el where, ya habíamos hablado que tiene que darme una, una full answer, right? Dependiendo, pues, del, del meaning of this question. ¿Ok? Yes. Por ejemplo, right? Si yo le pregunto, where are you working now? Well, you need to give me a place, right? I'm working in Santa Tecla in, I don't know. Um, the cafeteria, I would say, right? Yes. So where are you working? And work? I'm not working in the job. Well, that's something else. That's something else. But if I ask you, where are you? I don't know. Yes. Um, doing exercise. You need to give me a place, right? I'm doing exercise. Um, in the park, let's say, right? Or I'm doing exercise. Uh, in the gym. Right, so, so you can you can tell me that. Yes. Uh, also, we can talk about what is other people doing. For example, Lord, the Stella told us yesterday that she has three children. So, so you look over that. Hey, Lord, what is your daughter doing? Okay, what is your daughter doing? Yes. So, Lord, aquí es donde nos jugamos con los verbs. Yes. Recuerdan los verbs de simple present? I don't know, este, doing homework, washing, uh, eating, uh, taking a bath, um, I don't know, cleaning, and stuff like that. Here, we're going to use those ones, okay? So the structure is, is not very difficult, as you may see, but we tend to forget, okay? So, and again, lo utilizamos. Dependiendo del contexto. El primer contexto que es más fácil es eso, lo que estamos at the moment, ¿sí? ¿yes? 
por ejemplo, la pregunta, what are you doing? Pero también lo podemos utilizar con cosas que hacemos durante la semana, que ya tenemos planeado, ¿vale? Right? Entonces, yo le puedo preguntar a usted, ¿vale? Right? What are you doing this weekend? ¿Ok? ¿Okay? Ahí tengo el weekend, ¿vale? Right? Miren la cuestión. What are you doing this week? Estoy utilizando el present continuous to talk about that. Entonces, como usted ya planeó su weekend, usted puede contestarme pues, con el verb to be, con el present continuous. ¿Ok? Ok. So, for, for example, si usted me dice, oh, I'm having, yes, I'm having a birthday party. Yes. I'm having a birthday party. ¿Ok? Or, I'm, I'm I don't know. Traveling to, um, I don't know, San Miguel, right? Yes. Right. I am sleeping all the afternoon. <laughs> okay, that's a good one. Very good. I'm sleeping, okay. In a hamaca. <laughs> all uh, the afternoon, okay. Afternoon, okay. Afternoon. Okay, afternoon. Oh my gosh, I wrote two times after afternoon. Okay, so yes, I'm sleeping all the afternoon. Yeah. So this is something that you plan already. And you can use the present continuous para comunicar eso. Cuando me refiero a plan, es algo que está planeado como cercano. You know what I mean? Por ejemplo, el weekend is, is close. Yes, it's close. Entonces usted puede utilizar el present continuous to communicate algo que va a suceder en el future que ya tiene, pues, planeado, hay right? Que está cerca de pasar. Yes? Okay? So this is with press and continuous. El, el, el más fácil es el que, el que empezamos hablando, right? What are you doing? Okay? I am studying. I am learning. I am writing. I am taking notes. And this is another way. Es otra forma de comunicar algo with press and continuous que también pues lo utilizamos, right? Yes. Any question about this? Por ejemplo, right? En el trabajo, right? Usted, a veces tiene sus coworkers que son, se llevan chévere, right? Usted le dice, hey, mira, vamos a almorzar. Y él le dice, no. No, I'm sorry. Okay. I'm, okay, having a meeting. Okay. Yes. I'm having a meeting. Okay. Aquí le voy a poner el time just to be sure. At uh 12:30 p.m. Okay? Okay, I, I, I'm having a meeting at at 12:30 p.m. Okay? So for that reason I'm not having lunch because I have a meeting you know, with with somebody. So, yes. So you can use this one to communicate something that is going to happen right that will happen in the future. You can utilize the present continuous to communicate, to communicate that. Okay. Again, acuérdese que en English, when we when it comes to communicate, pues hay muchas formas de hacerlo. Uh, yes. Right. Entonces, usted elige cuál es la más práctica, cuál es the easiest one for you, y pues así se va. You know what I mean? El present continuous nos da ese chance, right? Yes. To communicate that, that as well. Okay. Um, voy a pasar al next example. Just give me a minute. Somebody wrote in the chat. Yes, present continuous. Here, here you have it. Present continuous. Here you have it. Okay. Ahora, ¿cómo contestamos con yes, I am or no, I'm not? Right. For example, si yo le pregunto a, let me check, uh, Gabriela Lizet López. Gabriela Lizet López. Yes. Are you in New York? No, I'm not. Okay, where are you? I am in San Salvador City. Very good, okay. Si ustedes se fijaron, ahí no utilicé el present continuous, right? Solo le pregunté el verb to be. Are you in New York, right? Simple like that. Ahora, le voy a preguntar, uh, are you living in Santa Ana? No, I am not living in Santa Ana. Very good, okay. Where are you living now? I am living in San Salvador City. 
Oh, wonderful, right? It's hot and warm today. We don't have rain. I miss rain, okay? Because <laughs> it gets a little bit wet and humid, but not today. I miss that. Okay, very good. What is your brother doing? He is sleeping right now. Oh, very good. What about your sister? My sister is working right now. Perfect. Okay. Wonderful. Yes. So that is the basic form, right? The actions that, that are happening right now at the moment. Yes. Right. So uh, Irma, do you have a pet? Yeah, I have. Oh, what, what is it? I do. What is it? How how was the question? Oh, if you have a pet, if you have a pet. Yes, I have a, a five. Oh my God! What are what are those? <laughs> do you want one? <laughs> <laughs> what are those? What are those? Um, they are three dogs and two cats. Oh my gosh. Okay. And what are, what are the dogs doing right now? Ah, my dogs are sleeping beside me in, oh. the, in the room, <laughs> in the oh. floor. Oh, on the floor. On the floor. <laughs> oh, that's good. They are right. laying. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. What about what about the cats? What are they doing? Ah, uh, the my cats are sleeping on my bed. Oh. They are very <laughs> full lazy fancy. animals, right? <laughs> full lazy animals, very good. Lazy and fancy. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm sorry for asking you this. Do you have Do you have children? Uh no. Yes, that's no, why. I'm... I I oh. don't have any children. Oh. Okay. Oh, my children are my dogs and my cats. Oh, that's good, right? Sounds wonderful. That's because why you have... I'm single. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Okay. Uh, thank you so much for answering. Okay. And, and I'm okay. Sorry no worries it. by the for the question. Okay, perfect. Okay. Alguna pregunta about how do we work with present continuous? Porque voy a pasar a la next uh, presentation. Solo déjenme tomar a Alice. Ah, Veronica, Alice. Here, Veronica. Okay. Here we go. Let me show you more examples about this one. Okay, so we can, can practice a little bit more. The spelling rules. Okay, just for you to know. And in grammar, we have this spelling rules. Okay. Okay. No me meto mucho a esto because sometimes, pues, si se confunden a lot. But just for you to know, we have this spelling rules. For example, a verse like each. Go and read. Okay. A la mayoría siempre se le agrega ing. Yes. Entonces I say, okay, my brother is eating. My sister is going to school. And I am reading a book. Okay, yeah. So that's that's the base. Then we have verse endings in W, X, and Y. Well, we do not double the final letter at the end of the verb. W. Okay. So we have. It's the same. Specifica is the same. In the verbs, it terminan in W, X, and Y. So le agregamos ING one more time. Snowing, fixing, and play. But this one, we have ending consonants E. Pues le borramos la letter E y le agregamos ING. Okay? Like dancing, writing, and writing. Okay? Writing, writing. Okay? And then we have uh, these ones that ends with E, I'm sorry, I, E, like die, lie, and tie. So we do something different if you notice, right? Yes. Entonces, les quitamos estas two letters, two vowels, y le regamos letter Y, y luego I, N, G. Okay, so that's, that's the difficult part. Hay algunos que son son half difficult. Este es uno de ellos. Okay. También es difficult y at the same time it's easy because not, we don't have too many. Con esta característica no tenemos el montón. Right? Y si tenemos el montón, pues no ocupamos todos. Most of the time. Solo vamos 
Connor's math basic. Okay. Tie and lie and tie. Okay, so these ones are the ones that goes with this characteristic. And then we have these ones. Okay. I'm sorry for that. We have a la estructura of a consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant, consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay. So verse one syllable ends consonant, vowel, consonant, with double the final consonant. So here we double the consonant, like T, with cut, cutting, and with run, running, stop with P, stop it, right? We double the last consonant. And then another structure, consonant plus vowel plus letter L, like equal, like travel, like control. Si les uh, duplicamos la letter L, if you know, right, equally, traveling. Uh, and controlling, okay? Yes. Esto es con British, okay? Entonces, si lo ven British, pues te va a decir, ah, oh, pues, pues es por eso, porque es British. Pero aquí tenemos el American, mire, here, right? En el American no se le duplica, yes? Ahora, si usted lo ve con dos, entonces usted dice, ah, es porque está en el British. Si lo ve solo con una, está porque está en el American, let's say, grammar, okay? So, uh, didn't know that. Thank so don't, 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 yes. <laughs> no, fíjese que hay un montón de cosas que, que uno va aprendiendo en el camino y, y que después, oh, yes. Ok, entonces. Um, and the British, they pronounce the sound T. For yeah. Example, beauty. Yes. They say beauty. Por ejemplo, cuando decimos los numbers, los numbers, right? A veces pronunciamos esa T, no sé si se fijado en los alumnos. Sí. Que lo hacen, por ejemplo, y eh, tenemos 70, 60, 70, decimos, right? 70. Eh, ajá. Y, por ejemplo, 20 is in American and 20, 20. is in Spanish. Entonces, mm -hmm. pero igual siempre es ok, right? So, si alguien dice 20, pues, good. no problem at all. Ok, so, uh, just, just be careful with this one. We have the last syllable is not a stress. Aquí vamos con estrés, stress, stress, right? Que es la intonation. No es el estrés de... Ah, sorry. Okay, no es estrés, okay? So, eso se refiere al intonation. Por ejemplo, tenemos happen, happening. Solo se le agrega ing at the end. Y estos otros también, it says, last syllable, I... I'm sorry, let me see. I'm oh, sorry, verb with two syllables and final syllable is stress, double the final letter. Okay, like begin, uh, beginning, double consonant. Uh, forget, forgetting, submit, submitting. Estos terminan, pues aquí con esta entonación, pues si le vamos a tener que duplicar los last consonant. And again, y con las rules, no me meto mucho porque sometimes we get confused really easy and the idea is not to do that to you, you know what I mean? But it's, it's, it's okay for you to, as well to, to know these ones, so you can uh, remember, right? Like in algunos, por ejemplo, like begin, forget, for, uh, submit, tiene que agregarle otra consonant at the end y luego ing. Okay, so uh, just, just be careful with that, okay? We're gonna have some practice here. We have some pictures if you see. Okay, ayúdenme, uh, let me check. Juan Carlos, ayúdeme, please. Thank you so much. Read. Ingresé, eh, disculpe, teacher. Eh, ingresé algo tarde porque estoy en el trabajo y, y, y sí, estoy algo pesadito ahorita. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, no problem, no problem. Okay. Pero, ahorita, pero, ahorita, pero ahorita puedo, puedo, puedo. puedo. Okay, okay, okay. Ayúdeme a leer esto que está aquí, please. Solo las, las frases, please. Thank you. Le learning a foreign language. 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 Raising a child. Renove, ren, decir, renove, 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 ren
your ideas. Learning to drive. Very good. Solo aquí tenemos pronunciation language. Language. Y aquí child. 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 Thank you so much. Okay. So very okay. good. So we have these scenarios, right? All of them are learning, uh, raising, uh, renovating, working, or learning. And here we have writing. Okay. So let's say, um, Gabriela Noemi, let's say, um, what is what is the person doing in the first picture? This picture here, Gabriela Noemi. Hello, Gabriel. Yes, teacher. What is this person doing in the first picture? What is the sentence that we have right. in this? Oh, no. Mire, no. aquí tenemos el... el, el... Oh, learning. Ajá. Entonces, ¿cómo quedaría la sentence? Mm. He is learning. Yes, continue. A, a mm. foreign. He is learning a, fo a foreign language. 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 Mm -hmm. Very good. Exactly, right? Thank you so much. Very good. Yes. Um, Leticia, are you going to make picture number two? What is the sentence in picture number two? Okay, Leticia, I think she said that she was going to be in the end, right? I guess. Okay. I'm going to ask you a minute. Uh, pues, pues. Sol Peralta. Eh, Iliana. Iliana. Thank you, Iliana. Are you me con la picture? Hello. La picture number two. What is the sentence, please? La picture number two. Yeah. This one. This one. Where we have a baby. Mm. Voy a utilizar este mismo vocabulary here, okay? Usar ese mismo. Yes. ¿Necesita ayuda? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, Juan. Oh, no, I'm sorry, Carlos. Carlos Lopez, thank you. Yes, yes teacher. Uh, they, they are raising a child. Very good. That is correct. Thank you so much. A great yeah. job. Okay. Yes, they are raising a child. Thank you. Irma, this one, number three. Okay, please. thank you. They are renovating the house. Exactly. Very good. Alba. Thank you. The next one, Alba, is for you. Um, sería, he's working mm -hmm. in, okay. a, in another country. Exactly. Very good. Yes. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Great job. Okay. Uh, Gabriela Lopez. Thank you, Gabriela Lopez. This picture here. He's losing a blog. Okay, uh, he is writing a blog. Easy, right? Thank you so much. And Urdes, thank you. This one. She's learning to drive. Exactly. She's learning to drive. Very good. Okay. And again, right now, we're just working with what is he or what is she doing. Okay. So let me know a minute. Let me buscar otra presentation. Okay. Well, so we can practice a little bit on that one. Okay, just give me a minute. Uh, so. Just give me a minute. Okay. 
picture is soon. Okay, soon is here. Okay, let me show you the following picture so we can practice a little bit. Okay, if you don't see it, no lo ve, me avisa. Okay, let me know. Aquí vamos. Okay. okay, this what are they doing? Okay. Yes, so we have these pictures. Let's say here. What about this? Mm -hmm. Carlos the David. What about this picture? What is he doing? Okay. Uh, he the boy is a learning. Is learning a mathematics. Oh, in this one? Yes, he's learning mathematics, right? Very good. Let's say. Thank you so much. Um, what about this picture here, Leticia? Leticia, what about this picture here? What is this boy doing? This boy, are you the Ingrid, please? Ingrid, Ven Ingrid Ventura, thank you. What is this boy doing? Alejandra, Jefferson, mm -hmm. what, is, what is this boy in the middle doing? No sé si, si podría decirse, the, the second boy is play con, con, bueno, no sé cómo decir, cometa o piscucha, no sé cómo decir en inglés. Okay, how do you say piscucha or cometa in English? Mm -hmm. Comet? No. No, no. No. Tiene solo four letters, solo tiene four letters. Kite. Kite, very good, kite, okay. Okay, y cuál es, qué hace la cometa? Kite. What is the verb? Exactly. So the boy is flying a kite. The boy is flying a kite. Very good. Right? Oh, como dijo your partner, the boy is playing with a kite. Good. What about this girl here? What is she doing? She's dancing. She's dancing, right? And what She's about this, this one here with sweater? She, scarves? He's snowing. And, oh, that's okay. No problem. Mm -hmm. It's skating. Ice skating, right? Ice skating. Very good. Very good. Okay. Let's let me show you more examples. What about this one? What is he or she doing? Mm -hmm. She take a picture. She's oh, okay. taking a picture. Oh, yes. Mire? She's taking a photograph or she's taking a picture. Really good. Okay. So. Very good. What about this one? What's the boy doing? Anybody? He's traveling. Oh, he's no, traveling. No, 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 perdón, perdón. Working, working. Oh, probably he's working. Oh, Another oh, example. He's oh. calling. He's calling. calling. Very good. Calling. Another example. He's answering a call. Answering a call, probably. Okay, let's check. He's using yes. the computer, okay? <laughs> I'm sorry. He's using the computer. Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was very good. That was very good, right? Not the right one, but you got all the examples, right? Perfect. What about this one? What is he doing? He's cooking. He's baking. He's cooking, right? Or he's baking. That's very good as well. Baking. Perfect. Wonderful. What about this one? Mm -hmm. She's playing. Okay, yes, very good. She's playing where well, we had tennis. tennis. I think it's badminton, I guess. Badminton here, but we have tennis. I don't know why. Okay, so forget about it. So she's playing. Very good. What about this one? Your favorite? Mm -hmm. He's eating mm -hmm. her, his lunch. He's eating his lunch or no, snack, probably, right? Porque en El Salvador, ese tipo de lunch is not a lunch, right? Yeah, we need to have like a big plate. It's a sad lunch. <laughs> Yes, that's true. That's absolutely true. Okay. Thank you so much. Let's continue. What about this one? Mm -hmm. He's playing baseball. Oh, yes. He's playing baseball. baseball. Perfect. Baseball. What about this one? 
Mm -hmm. She's swimming. 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 Okay, very good. Mire, este le doblamos, right? La letter M. Swim, swimming. Double M, okay? What about this one? What is he's painting. He's painting. He's painting. Exactly, right? He's painting, right? He's painting. Wonderful. A minute. Oh, Jose Antonio, thank you so much. Very good. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. She doing yoga. Oh, that's very good. Okay, she's doing gymnastic. Gymnastic, right? Uh, it's quite similar to yoga, but I think it's different. But the picture, I don't know, it doesn't give us the right thing. She's doing, right? Okay. Acuérdese que cuando hace una actividad de realizar, un, así como, por ejemplo, las cosas uh, olímpicas, right? So vamos doing. Okay. And then gymnastic, doing yoga. Okay. What about this one? Mm -hmm. Easy, right? He's playing he's playing. Yes, right, he's playing soccer. What about this one? He's fishing. Oh, very good. He's fishing. Yes, fishing. Very good. What about this one? Easy. He's reading. He's, he's reading. He's reading. Very good. Okay. Oh, and I think we're finished. It's all. Thank you so much for your participation. That was very good. Yes. So this is the way we use el present continuous, el que es con, well, the things that we do every single day. I'm sorry, the things that we do uh, at the time of the speaking. Yes, so that is the one that we use most of the time. What are you doing? Well, I'm doing this, okay? Now, let's work with this conversation here, okay? It says, you look tired, Monica. Are you studying? late night these days what about the next sentence mm -hmm. what do we have in this next sentence anybody no i'm not my brother and sister are staying with me right now oh ahí hay un pequeño inconvenience okay say it one more time Repítalo are bien. staying oh yes very good that one that one are Stay, right? Are they? Yes, are staying with me right now. They keep me up late every night. Really? Both of them? What? What is next? Anybody? Irma? Thank you. What are they doing this summer? They are, what are they doing? Yes, what are they doing? This summer. What is next? Are they are they are are taking they are taking classes too? Are they taking classes too? Yeah, exactly. Are they taking classes too? No, I am. my brother is on vacation, but now he is. What is the next one? But he's looking. looking. Exactly right. He's looking for a part-time job. He's looking for a part-time job here. What about your sister? What is the question? He's working. He's working. She's working. She's working. She's working. Is he working? Ah, he's working. Yes, he is. She has a part-time job at the university. What about you, Jan? Uh, are you in school this summer? Yes, I am. What is next? I am studying exactly. two lang languages. Oh I am studying two languages. Two languages. Language. Oh. Language. Are you taking... Yes. Are you taking Korean and Spanish again? Well, I'm taking Korean, but now. 
Exactly. I am starting. I am starting. I am starting. Portuguese. Really? That's exciting. Okay, so this is a typical conversation where we we are like um able to use present continuous because everything is about context that we are doing. Okay, vamos a tener participation, Gabriela Ramirez in Ingrid. Gabriela Ramirez in Ingrid, Gabriela. There is Jan in Ingrid. There is Monica. Okay, Ingrid. Yo soy Jan. Yes. Ingrid. Sí, teacher. Puede participar, yes. Uh, sí. Okay, you are Monica, Ingrid. Okay. Okay. You look tired, Monica. Are you studying late at night this day? No, I am not. My brother and sister are studying with me. Now, now they get me or to lay every night. Really? But up then, what are they doing this summer? Are they taking classes too? No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation, not but he's looking for a part-time hot here. What about your sister? Is she working? Yes, she is. she has a part time hot at the university. What about you? Jen, are you in the school this summer? Yes, I am. I am studying two language. Oh, are you taking Korea and Spanish and gay? Well, I'm taking Korean, but now I am starting. But now really? I am starting. Really? That's exciting. Thank you so much, the two of you. If you mistake some pronunciation like uh, languages, job, okay, uh, staying, I'm staying. Eh, no escuché. Decir Portuguese. Portuguese, okay. Portuguese. Uh, let's work with Carlos. Okay. Thank you so much. And Lourdes. Lourdes, you are Jam, and Carlos, you are Monica. Ready? Let's begin. You look tired, Carlos. Are you studying? And... Are you studying late at night this day? No, I know my brother and sister are staying with me right now. They keep me up late every night. Really? Both of them. What are they doing this summer? Are you taking classes too? No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he's looking for a part-time job here. What about your sister? Is he is she working? Yes, she is. She has a part-time job at the university. What about you, Jan? Are you in school this summer? Yes, I am. I'm studying two languages. Oh. Are you taking Korean and Spanish again? Ah, uh, sorry, teacher. Yeah, I can read more. Yes, no problem. Okay. Me está deportado. O sea, no puedo leer. No me da. That's okay. No problem. Thank you so much. That was very good. Okay. That was very good. Okay. Just here we have our day, our day taking. Christian, usted va a ser a Jan Christian. Okay. And your partner is going to be, let me see, um, Juan Carlos. Puede participar, Juan Carlos? Yes? Yes, yes. Perfect. You are, you are Monica, okay? See? Okay. Yeah. Okay, Christian, let's begin. Uh, you look tired, Monica. Are you studying late at night this day, this days? No, I'm not. My brother and sister 
are studying, studying, studying with me right now. They keep me up late every night. Really, really good. Uh, then what are, are they doing? This summer are they working class two? No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he is looking for a part-time job here. What about your sister? <coughs> your sister, is she working? Yes, she is. She has a part-time job at the univers university. What about you, Jan? Are you in school this summer? Mm, yes, I am. I am is studying two language. Oh, are you taking Korea and Spanish again? Well, I am. I am talking Korea, <coughs> but now I I am is starting Portuguese classes. Really, that's that's exciting. Thank you so much. Okay, sí, sí creí que iban a cambiar los names. Okay, sí que que Cristian iba a decir, ah, uh, you look tired, Juan. Okay, y yo creí que Juan iba a decir, oh. <laughs> No, you can get it. What about you, Christian? Okay. So oh, no. I, was, I was expecting that. Okay. Very good. If you mistake some pronunciation, for example, Portuguese, Portuguese, languages, languages, Korean, Korean, and I'm taking and I'm starting. I'm starting. Okay. Um, we have another one. Just give me a minute. Um, let me see, let me see. Telma and Elena, thank you. Uh, Telma, you are Jan and Monica, that's you, Elena. Okay? Okay. Let's begin, please. You look tighter, Elena. Continue, Telma. Ah, cierto. Are you studying late at night this day? Elena, hello, Elena, are you there? No, creo que ya no tenía el micrófono, I'm sorry. Okay, Gabriela Ramirez, ayúdela, please, help her, help her. Gabriela Ramirez. Gabriela Ramirez. Sí, Elena Peral, Sol Peralta. No hola, tiene... hola. Yes, continue, you are Monica, okay? Okay. Oh, yes. No. No. No, I'm not. My brother and sister are studying with me right now. They keep me late every night. Really? Both of them? What are, what are they doing this summer? Are they taking class classes too? No, they aren't. My brother is on vacation now, but he's looking for a part-time job here. What about your sister? Is she working? Yes, she is. She has a part-time job at the university. What about you, Jan? Are you in school this summer? Yes, I am. I am studying two languages. Oh, are you taking Korean and Spanish again? Well, I'm taking Korean, but now I, I am studying. Portuguese class. Really? That, that's exciting. Thank you so much. Very good. Again, if you mistake some pronunciation, you keep, like, some of you are keeping, like, changing this one. Staying. Okay. No sé si yo lo escucho mal, but me dicen like studying. Okay. Uh, and staying. Okay. Um, my brother and sister are staying. And here, Portuguese. Portuguese. Okay, like Portuguese, like Portugal, yes? Portuguese, very good, thank you so much. So, again, this is the way we use this one, right? When we have like 
things that we talk about that we do, yes, or we are doing in our life, let's say, okay. So for example, if somebody asking, are you studying? Okay, or what are you doing during the week? Or what are you doing um, on weekends, right? So you can talk about the things that you do on weekends or, or the things that you do, like say, uh, you, you do on the, during the day. Uh, okay, any question about this? Any question, people, about this one? Okay, la clave aquí está una en los verbs, and the second one is en usarlo. Okay, la siempre recomendación de siempre, right? En su familia, usted acerque, se diga, oh, you are cooking, you are cleaning, you are mopping, you are, I don't know, washing, you are, I don't know, washing the dishes or watching television, you are listening to music, right? The typical um, consejo que siempre le doy, right? Practice at home, little by little. Good night. Thank you so much for being here. Be nice and be oh, kind, and we will see you. Teacher, you solo por la por la por la. Good night. Good night, Good night teacher. Night. Good night. Thank you so much. Good night. Bye bye. bye. Take care. Good night.